Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining some of the basics about vernier height gauge with its uh, working and applications in the field of metrology. So let us start with the basic introduction about height gauge. So this is the one of the most useful and versatile instruments that will be used in the field of metrology for the measurement of height and that will be also measuring with uh, some of the inspecting and transferring the height dimensions over the plane. Sometimes it will be steps and curve surface. So these instruments basically it will be works onto the same principle that we learn into a vernier caliper. So it will be having a one main scale and a one vernier scale. So basically I already told you it follows the principle of vernier caliper and also follows the same procedure for a linear measurements. So it is a equipped with a wear resistance special base block. So that will be no any kind of effect from environment as well as the resistance of the wear it will be there. So basically in which the graduated bar is held into the vertical positions. So let's see the basic setup for a height gauge. So starting with the bottom position this is my sturdy base which is made with a high grade of steel materials and that will be having a highly rigidity. So it will be placed onto a surface plate. Then this is my main scale. It will be attached onto this vertical bar and it will be adjusted. So just you can see here that will be the screw for adjusting zero error. So this is the main important thing in case of the height gear. Before starting the any kind of observation, you should make a this vernier scale and main scale with zero zero readings. So in case of the vernier caliper, you should not any kind of rearrange both the zero zero. If you find the some zero error, so it will be added or subtracted from a final reading. But in case of this height gain, it will be adjustable. So before starting any kind of measurement, you should measure and if you not, it will be the zero zero. You should adjusting from this screw. So this is my main scale readings and here it will be the clamps and with the help of this clamp, it will be adjusting a scribers and a bracket. So these brackets, it will be in build facilities with a magnifying glasses. So you can take a readings very magnification with this glass and it will be easily observed into your eyes or you can say into your observer. So into the bracket that will be the clamping systems and the scribers with the vernier scale and inbuilt facilities with a fine adjustment screw. So that fine adjustment screw it will be also fine into the vernier caliper. So just you can see this is the quite similar kind of setup that will be used into a vernier caliper. So this is my vernier scale. This is my main scale. So this vernier scale it will be sliding onto the main scale and according to the least count you can see it will be similar 0.02 mm so you can take a reading it will be having a quite similarity with a vernier caliper so a height gauge has a vertical column and a unit is attached to this column with slides ups and down so this bracket it will be ups and down according to the height. Then an arm protrudes from a gauge coming into direct contact with the part is being measured. So basically this surface it will be in contact with the workpiece surface. So here that will be my workpiece is put and according to its height it will be adjusted. So each height gauge 
features a solid base giving the vertical column enough stability that is remains at the right angles to the table surface that we already discussed so this study table it will be having a high rigidity during the measurements so the moving slide is engraved with the vernier calibrations enabling settings to an accuracy of 0.02 mm so that will be the least count of this height gauge and the height gauge of the scribes point can be finely adjusted with a thumb screw so let's see in case of the one near height gauge with an applications so this base it will be raised onto the table or you can say onto your surface plate and according to the measurements this is the height is to be measured for your workpiece material so this workpiece material it will be once again resting onto the table and this scribing jaw it will be in physical contact with the top of surface so here that will be my main scale it will be fixed with a vertical bar and that will be with a base so this main scale it will be indicating the main scale reading and this is my bracket with a vernier scale so this is my vernier scale so according to this adjustment or you can say physical contact with the workpiece materials it will be indicating these zero readings with a main scale and the matching number with the vernier scale and this instrument it will be having a same kind of least count 0.02 so you should take a readings as similar with your vernier caliper so similar to a vernier caliper expect that the fixed jaw in the case is replaced by a fixed base which rests on a surface plate or a table when taking the measurement so that we already learn and some of the precautions that to be taken by using a vernier height gauge so let's see so it should be tested for a straightness squareness and parallelisms of working beam measuring jaws and scribers base is clean and free from the burrs so this is the basic precautions you should take care for any kind of measurements then applications just you can say these are used to mark out the lines and widely used on surface plates and on to the any kind of machine tables the height gauge with an indicator attachment is used for checking the surface holes so during some kind of attachment it will be having a different kind of applications the height gauge with a scribe attachment is used to mark the reference lines and locations on to a castings and forgings also uh, i hope you understand the basics about the height gauge if you like this then subscribe and share more the mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep